Can an extrovert become an introvert? And if so, how? How do you become more introverted? How to become an introvert? Okay, many extroverts feel as they grow older that they become more introverted or when you ask them whether they are extroverted or introverted, many extroverts say that they actually quite value introverted time and actually tend to identify as quite introverted. Now, how is that possible and how do you understand how to become an introvert? Many extroverts might even find the idea of being introverts to be better, thinking that, oh, introverts are cooler or the more trendy or more interesting ways to be and live your lives these days. And I wish I was an introvert and, you know, I'd like to be an introvert. And how can I become an introvert? And here, first of all, I would suggest that everyone recognizes that every personality trait is neutral. That means that there is no better or worse way to be. And beyond that, on top of that, no, in general, people do not change their personality type drastically. Yes, you can learn to be maybe 5% more introverted than you used to be, or 5% more extroverted, but it's generally rare for a person to experience major shifts in their personality and identity. And even if you can look back in time and think about how you've changed across time, you'll still find that if you compare that to how other people change and how people are in general, you probably only shifted a little bit in the scale. Yeah, you might have become a little bit more extroverted or a little bit more introverted, but most people tend to stay more or less the same. On top of that, while it's possible to experience more significant shifts in a personality trait, this usually only occurs as a result of a severe trauma or a major life change, such as moving to another country or experiencing a difficult, difficult experience, right? And only these kind of things seem to cause drastic changes in your personality. So only if you've experienced something that drastically altered your course of life, well, only then is it possible to think about whether you become more of an introvert. First of all, yeah, it's possible that you were slightly in the middle. You might have been an ambivert, somebody that has a small or a very subtle preference for one of the two. But even a small preference for extroversion, say a 5% more strong tendency towards extroversion over introversion, even then, 5% still translates to thousands and thousands of hours <laughs> engaging in more extroverted activities and acting in a more extroverted way. And that will still separate you in a significant way from 55% of the other people that are more introverted than you are, right? So even if you would compare yourself to these people, you'd still find that they were quite different to how you are. Now, we get confused about these matters because we tend to perceive changes in our lives as more significant than what they are. Even if you have made considerable efforts to improve or change your personality, and even if you do feel like you have become a very different person today to how you used to be, if you compare that to how people are and how people change over time across the population and in general, you'll find that most of the time, yeah, those changes were small. And now, when I say small, I don't mean insignificant. Small changes can be very positive, yeah. Just finding ways to slightly balance out your extroverted preference with a more introverted strategy can be life-saving. It can be what makes or breaks the health and happiness and balance of your life. Yeah, because if you live completely as an extrovert and engage only in the world in an extroverted way, you'll find that that is going to be quite unhealthy. Similarly, an introvert that is only engaging with the world in an introverted way could be described as almost dysfunctional. Yeah, we need to manage and to balance both of these traits and healthy extroverted individuals balance out their extroverted tendency with alone time. So how do you learn to be more introverted as an extrovert? First, you want to recognize the four ways of being an introvert. First of all, you can be a modest introvert and introversion is related to modesty in general. Introverts are more modest, introverts are more shy, introverts tend to be less likely to value themselves highly and tend to be more modest in how they express themselves and how they talk and how they express what they think. Yeah, if an introvert believes something to be true or has knowledge about something or has skill about something, they'll talk about it in a more neutral light saying, yes, I think it's this is how it is, or I feel that I could do this, but I'm not sure, or that 
yeah, I feel good about this, but I'm still open to being wrong. Extroverts, on the other hand, tend to be more assertive. And so if you want to learn to balance out your extroverted personality, it's good to admit and learn to think and reflect on how you could be wrong about things and how you could learn from others and how other people could teach you things and to learn to balance out your passion and energy for certain activities with some healthy modesty. Similarly, if you want to learn to connect more with introversion, you can learn to be more precise. While your natural inclination might be to rush ahead and to do things quickly, valuing quantity over quality, introverts tend to be more precise. And so you can learn to massively improve the quality of your work by just taking a few more minutes on an activity to think and reflect to ensure that you did it the right way and that you didn't make any mistakes. And if you spend some time rushing forward, it's always good to take a day or two to spend time stopping to reflect on what you did and how it went and how you can improve. Yeah, acknowledge mistakes and issues and learn from them. On top of that, learn to be self-reliant and independent. Introverts on in general tend to be slightly more inclined to independence and self-reliance. They don't tend to ask for help frequently. They prefer to do things on their own. And they like to spend time thinking or figuring out their own way to do things instead of following or doing what other people do. Yeah, you too can learn from this by taking time to try to figure out problems on your own before you ask other people. And being more independent can be vital to success at work and in other situations. Make sure that before you ask other people that you at least spent a few time minutes thinking to reflect to, find, to ensure that you also have your own opinion about something. And even if you're open to compromise that with other people, it's important to check in and ensure, do I agree with this? And does that make sense and add up with how I think about something? Finally, it's important for introverts to try to practice stability. While introverts tend to be more calm and stable, extroverts tend to make drastic changes in their life quite often. Extroverts are more inclined to try new things, to be more adaptable, and so they can also be a little bit more chaotic. But trying to stick to your guns and to maintain a strategy for a while can be healthy. Even if something doesn't seem to pay off right away, if you keep working at it, there's a good chance that it could pay off later on. So take a little bit longer working on a goal or a project before you abandon it for something new. Now, these are all different ways that you can learn to be more introverted, but also to learn to see the value of introverts and introverted people. As an extrovert, you can benefit consistently and significantly from keeping introverts in your life. They can help you see things you might otherwise miss and they will add to the richness and complexity and success of your everyday activities and actions. And yeah, if you work long enough at it, set consistent habits to check in with yourself and to work and to think and connect with your inner world, you'll find that you will gradually get better at it. Maybe not enough to completely change your personality, but enough to see considerable improvements in your health and well-being. At least, that's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video.